here stalking me. <laughs> That's intimidating. All right. Hi, oh, is it starting? Hi, my name is Sue Gwen. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. I'm glad I have this red light shining on me because I get the Asian flush if I've been drinking. So yes. let's just ignore that. How's your night been? Everyone good? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, so uh, I'm supposed to talk about spaces. So this used to be my space in Chinatown um, where I work on sort of an interdisciplinary body of work uh, ranging from kind of still image, painting, uh, uh, music, instrumentation, a little bit of code, trying to get a little bit better at it. Uh, this is my first Pecha Kucha, so... Uh, but lately, I've been doing a lot of work on trains, and um, sometimes it's really beautiful, and I, I get to draw and kind of relax and look at a beautiful landscape. This is uh, from uh, Geneva, where I did an installation to Gruyere. It's like just beautiful, beautiful time, and I feel like it's a very glamorous way to pursue an art practice, but sometimes it sucks. Sometimes I'm at... Four in the morning at Newark Airport, and people mispronounce my name. Suween is not how you say my name, nor Suen, but that's fine. Uh, sometimes I'm just eating airline food for days, and it's as disgusting as that looks, and it's kind of a bummer, but uh, these are the spaces in which I work. Lately, I've been uh, doing a lot of talks. I've actually just got back to New York after six weeks of being on the road. It's been really inspiring. That is the most inspiring GIF I've ever seen. Because it really describes that kind of energy of just a, a lust for life, a joie de vivre, you know? Like, who doesn't want to wake up in the morning like that? But I'm not here to talk to you about inspiration. I'm here to remind you just how depressing your life is and uh, how you're going to die. This is a project called Goth Screenshots that I ended up doing because who who's seen a goth screenshot in their life, right? This that bummer message where it tells you you have no new friends, you have no new messages, right? This is my favorite goth screenshot of all time. Uh, this is you, you've never done anything. It's like, uh, like thanks dad, you know. Uh, you're not connected, no connection. Uh, if you find a goth screenshot, uh, something that bums you out online, Please email me about it, because it makes my day. Uh, I actually ended up making it into a t-shirt line, because internet. And we were uh, featured on Animal New York, uh, Cool Hunting, BuzzFeed, uh, which I was really excited about, but then they put this terrible image up, and I begged them to not do it. Like, that's not my brand, and they're like, no, 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 the crowd will love it. But apparently that's what I'm associated with now. So one of the spaces that I really enjoy is the space of a blank page. I love being able to just see a mark unfold, I draw obsessively as a, a way to kind of, I think there's a nice challenge about the blank page. Like there's no interface to it, you just have to make your mark and it can be intimidating. So I try to face that intimidation every day. This is totally unrelated, but I really like how light takes on different narrative characteristics. Uh, this for me, guillotine, this uh, kind of like fireflies, this like a window into another world. So I always feel like uh, the spaces that I really, really enjoy are illuminated in a particular way. So in my practice, I've tried to combine that, uh, oh wow, that's, I didn't know there was sound in that. So I've tried to combine uh, kind of the improvisation of drawing with the illumination and the magic of light in uh, various drawing installations. I have, I work with software to scan spaces. I work with an amazing team to fabricate my vision for things and I'm able to create a massive space based on something really simple and kind of usually ephemeral, but uh, this is an installation I did in Geneva a little while ago. It's kind of a performance piece in a way of creating your own space. I don't recommend trying to projection map a space that big. Uh, it was kind of intimidating. I've been, uh, I just got back from the Middle East, actually, and I brought this process into a workshop with 17 participants. I'm speaking very quickly now. <laughs> but uh, where I sort of uh, showed them how to bring their drawings into space uh, and kind of, I don't know, I think it's a nice thing when you have this little intimate uh, activity and then you bring it out into the bigger world. I've had, one of the spaces that really inspires me is the space of collaboration. I've worked with Chantal Martin and, uh, She's great, right? She's super inspiring and really chill. I'm not that chill. But I've also worked with this band called Sepulchre. I don't know if you guys know them, but uh, I've done uh, big like AV shows with them around the world, and we're doing a new thing in September, so check that out. Um, so I think when I work on my practice, I'm just trying to sort of quiet down and sort of uh, 
contemplate space in my own way, whether it's through drawing or just looking at a really goth looking wave in the middle of Spain. And sometimes that ends up taking the form of my actual work, which, uh, which has been really inspiring for me because I think when you can communicate an emotional impact through just a simple form or a still image, um, and encourage people to have that kind of contemplation, I feel like a lot of magic happens there. So I tried to think about that and apply that to 3D printed sculpture. But I don't know if you guys have ever done 3D printing before, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit like being trapped in another box. And I found that to be a little bit intimidating. Like, I don't know, you open up a 3D program and you're, I don't know, there's a lot of software proficiency that that involves. So I have a new project called Presentia which essentially allows you to create a 3D printed sculpture with just a simple, simple stroke of the hand, right? And, uh, and yeah, it's something that I'm launching soon. Uh, at some point, we're working on it. Uh, I'm collaborating with a developer called Mr. Dube on it, and I think it'll be a really interesting way to apply that kind of free-form mark-making into a digital space that can elevate the process by which it's done. So you can now do a drawing in gold, which I don't know, software doesn't usually allow you to do that, and I'm hoping to pursue that uh, more over my career over the next year. And if you want to learn more about it, I'm going to be drinking tequila on the side, and I'm oh, at yeah. Sequin on everything. So thank you for listening. Yeah.